eight rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with white trim, hailing from Mayaguez, Puerto Rico, now living in Miami, Florida. She weighed in at an even 140 pounds, with a record of 17 wins, three losses and one draw. She has nine wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome a fighter they call Brown Sugar, Belinda Lara Quinte. And her opponent across the ring, ready to fight on my left in the red corner, wearing pink trunks with white trim, fighting out of Orlando, Florida, by way of West Virginia. She weighed in the same as her opponent, 140 pounds even. With only one loss in the last 10 years, her record stands at 38 wins, two losses and two draws, with 30 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of the top women's pound-for-pound -pound boxers known as the coal miner's daughter, introducing Christy Martin. Once again, a referee in charge, Jay Nady, now to give instructions, eight rounds of boxing schedule. There we go. Fighters, come to the center of the ring, please. Do you have any questions? I gave you instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands. Defense glove is going to work. Eight rounds. Bobby Chaz, how about uh, the keys to victory for this fight? Well, for Martin, she's got to keep the pressure on. That's her game. That's what she does best. Also, power shots. She has heavy hands, and the overhand right has been her best weapon. Lara Quinte has got to establish a good jab and also use that lateral movement from the outside. Keep Christy off balance and box smart. While she's out there, be smart and be careful. Christy Martin has little patience when the bell sounds. It's all about offense. Little defense goes in looking for the knockout. Lara Quinte, a slick, technical boxer who moves well and can punch. Good side to side and defense. And she'll need those assets tonight. She's never been knocked down. 17 of Christie's 30 knockouts in the first round, 23 in three rounds or less. Martin checked in just before the fight at 143, just uh, three pounds over the weigh-in yesterday. Lara Quinte remained at 140. Lara Quinte has nice leg movement. She steps around well, and she just stuffed a nice jab on Christie. Christie's looking to do just that, though, apply the pressure and get through. The usual suffocating offense by Martin in her traditional pink trunks. While the incident with Lucia Riker was a big distraction, injuring two fingers on her right hand, she says it doesn't hurt when she punches. The damage is near the tips of her middle and pinky fingers, and when she makes a fist and hits, it doesn't really affect her. Our Quinty told us she's never been off her feet. Although she's been in some wars, she's been waiting two years for this fight. She says she's ready for anything. A very confident young lady. I'll tell you what, she threw a nice combination there, did Lara Quente. Ducked under Christie's and quarter again. Christie also though, landing pretty clean. Christie told us she feels Belinda is not a threat, not powerful. As she put it, this is going to be more like facing Camacho than Trinidad. But she did envision a brawl. Knockout, Down she no goes. Knockout. It's no Come knockdown. Knockout. Come to me. Box. Left hand blocked by Christie. You see some swelling of red under Christie's right eye. One of those left hooks got through pretty cleanly.
When you think about all the significant factors going into tonight's fight, the experience, the weight, who's got the heavier power, the risk factor, Trinidad fighting a dangerous opponent. You also have to include the weather if it drops, but it probably won't be a factor because so far, so good. Early tonight, the arrival of the champion, David Reed, being from Philly, certainly more used to the uh, cooler uh, temperatures as opposed to the Puerto Rican uh, Felix Trinidad. He says he's fought uh, before on the outside, very confident that it will not have any adverse effect. David Reed and Felix Trinidad later. round two as Christie comes charging right out. Scheduled for eight. Christie feels she's at the top of her game right now. Retirement isn't even an issue. She feels she's better and stronger today and doing the technical things better as well. So far, Christie's not landing the big shots as cleanly as she liked, but she just walked into a right hand there. Good clean right by Melinda Lara Quente as she backs off right now. She's a very savvy slick boxer, and she's only 21 years old. She's 17-3-1 with nine knockouts. Christie 38-2-2 with 30 KOs. Right now, Lara Quente's using a great set of legs to keep her out of trouble. She's stepping off and around. Most of Christie's stuff is falling short and not landing clean. Christy Martin, who knows only one direction straight ahead, as you can see, trying to go with the jab there to set up the right. The three jabs missed Steve, and again, Lara Quente getting out of the way, getting out of harm's way. Landed a couple good shots, but Larry Quinty got some in as well. And the redness continues underneath the right eye of Christy Martin. Larry right, Quinty continues to try and stay out of the way of those heavy punches. Oh, a good straight right hand that nailed uh, Christy right on the head. And again, Larry Quinty ducked under this. Well, a world title is worth the risk, but I'm doing what I have to do at this time. Only the second time in seven years that you will be fighting at this weight, 154, is it an issue for you? Bueno, esta es la segunda vez en tu carrera que vas a pelear en este peso de las 154 libras. ¿Es un problema para ti? No, no, no es problema para mí. Este peso lo, lo hice muy bien y creo que en este peso voy a estar pegando más fuerte y voy a tener más, mucho más fuerza. Well, I'm going to have, he says, much more strength. It's a better weight for me and my punches will be harder. All right. Good luck to you. We look forward to the fight. Okay, thank you. All right. Back out to you, Steve. All right, Jim. Round three. Our Quinty came out, beat Christie to the point. Right hand over the jab. And I'll tell you what, right now, I think she's frustrating Christie. You can see Christie mimicking her and doing some things. It's not characteristic of Christie to do this and fall into this game. Normally, she just goes to work and does her thing. And our Quinty just smiling back at her, showing a good mix of boxing skills, punching and connecting, then able to duck beneath Christie's counter. Unbelievable. She throws a nice three-punch combination, makes Christie miss, and I'll tell you what, I don't think Christie's used to this kind of problems, this kind of trouble, especially with a fighter so much younger and lesser experience. All right, Quani just smiling back at those taunts, a heavy right hand there, and then a clubbing shot illegally you can't by Christy Martin. Okay? Keep your head up. But Dirty tactics by Christy Martin. The key to this fight, Steve, Lara Quente's defense. Christy has not been able to land clean, but she's been getting hit consistently. 
little extra speed on Larry Quentin's punches, along with good upper body movement and leg movement, has been the difference. The upstart, Belinda Larry Quentin, looking very impressive here, trying to pull off the upset. Round three scheduled for eight. Quente continues to have that red on her face. Cut under Christie's right eye. Right over Christie's right eye, she's cut. One of those left hooks found its mark. And those jabs are finding their mark, too, from Lara Quente. Good right hand there by Lara Quente. Continues to score. shots in she jumps in nice jab there moves out of the way another jab right hand hook and again Christie's right hand grazes and misses she's using her legs and using her arms upper body movements reacting very well later the lead right hand and here's where I think that Christie just starts to bang on top of the head and just blatantly foul that's uh, that's just an awkward situation have I won around yet yeah yeah you're it's even, it's even. That's when you know a fighter is in trouble when they ask you if they've won any rounds yet. Break the inside. Break the inside. Watch your right hand. And you're being very diplomatic and kind when you say awkward uh, situation. Well, Lucia Riker earlier this week taunted Christy Martin out of the ring. Belura, Belinda Laraquetta is doing it inside. You know, I had, I had an interview with Stan Hoffman, who manages Riker, and said that Riker just came to verbally challenge and call out Christy, and that Christy said some very foul things about her and shoved her, and that's when she hit her. It wasn't until she got shoved that she did it. So that's going to be the rumor from here and there. The thought also crossed my mind that it might have been Rick. A shot by Lara Quentin, straight on the face of Christy Martin. Christy Martin keep, with the chin. And she keeps smiling, but she's getting hit. She's never been down. Christy Martin, never been off her face. Now she's wailing away at the body, but Lara Quentin able to cut her up. Well, this is the most damage we've seen Christy Martin absorb. From a 21-year-old young lady from Miami by way of Puerto Rico. Christy just wailing away, but Lara Quente has answers for everything. Well, she's been lucky enough to get it. She's holding her hands up high. Christy's coming wide with everything, really wide, using her strength to try and bully Lara Quente, but she's not throwing straight, clean punches. Stop action as we approach the final 30 seconds of round four. Nice combination to the body by Rolando Quente, and there, a jab. And Belinda able to do the job while she's going backwards. Not too many fighters can do that. Muhammad Ali's the only one I know besides Sugar Ray Robinson could beat a death going in the wrong direction. It might be a little too early to say this, but could we be seeing the emergence of a new star in women's boxing? I think she is a star in the making, even if she loses here tonight, because she is doing something to a seasoned pro that can fight. So quick landing with those jabs, almost good will. She says I'm getting short of air, and they're saying breathe through your mouth, not through your nose. So she is getting tired. The one facing him says, keep throwing the right hand, right hand. Keep beating hard, keep beating hard. I want you to jab, jab, and send that right hand home. Don't raise up. Stab that front foot. Six minutes of fighting left, so. Sit around, come to Christy Martin does possess a lot of power, but she looks a lot slower than the 21-year-old uh, challenger. And that lack of speed is enabling Lara Quani to slip a lot of punches. Thank you. Her husband gave her good advice going behind the jam and throwing her right hand home, but she's throwing it, looping around and over the top, and it's not getting there quick enough. Lara Quinty has good reflexes.
reflexes, and she moves very well. Big night for Belinda Laraquente to this point.